So we're going to run a few tests on this Hill Country Purified Water. And as you can see, it's not a full bottle. So it may affect the chlorine test because chlorine is a gas. So it may have evaporated, but let's check it. I placed a small amount of water in the bottom, about the width of a finger, about half an inch. I've added five drops of the chlorine testing solution. And as you can see, it is still clear. So even if they, the chlorine had been there and evaporated, we would not be able to tell. But hopefully Hill Country has run it through at least a carbon blocker to remove the chlorine. We filled it with the same amount of water again, and this time we're going to be adding the reagent, and five drops of reagent, and then we'll count how many drops of titrin it takes to turn the water uh, blue or gray. Okay, I've added the five drops of the reagent, and of course you can see this is pink, which indicates hardness in the water. Why they're selling hard water at the grocery store makes no sense to me, but let's see how many drops it takes of the titrin to get it to go away. It's a little difficult with holding the water and doing the test at the same time. There's one drop, swirl, still pink. Two, swirl. Okay, so it's got, it's been through a water softener. It's only got two grains of hardness. Good for you, Hill Country. If it's less than four, it's not worth getting a water softener for, but they've definitely run it through something to get the hardness out. That's good. I know the Walmart brand water still showed 21 grains of hardness. That's disgusting. Since I don't have a lot of water to use here, I'm going to put just a little bit here to test the pH and total dissolved solids. I'm going to put the rest in this little small two ounce container to check for metals. I'm going to go ahead and put the pH in here measuring total um, antioxidants right now so we're going to let that amazingly that's high starting off but we're going to go ahead and start the meter for the metals at the same time get that going and we're going to do, do the total dissolved solids as well to dissolve solids is pretty quick it measures exactly how many solids are in the water so this has done gone through a reverse osmosis process if it's less than 120 you can pretty much estimate that it's gone through a reverse osmosis process so we went 25 for total dissolved solids which means they've removed almost everything that's pretty standard pretty solid ph is coming in at 8.49 at the about a one minute mark. And we're gonna let this continue as reverse osmosis. We don't expect this to have a whole lot of metals, but you do see some yellow iron popping in there. So let's see how it does after a few more minutes. We'll also check the antioxidants. So checking to see if there is any. Nope, it's a positive number 47. Is it gonna sit solid going up a little bit, 49? Call it a positive 50. Let's go back to the, this is a thumb brace here, by the way. People say, why are you wearing that thumb ring on your knuckle like that? It keeps my thumb from bending for an injury. Okay. So it's waning down. It looks like it's going to fall below seven or into the sevens. Looks like it might sit right at eight, which tells me they may have put some uh, calcium or magnesium into it. Let's call that 7.9. Okay. All right. After stopping for a second, it's dropped down to 7.7. .7. Stopping the metals test, there is clearly a lot of iron in here. Now they talk about not using aluminum to bake in. They talk about not using aluminum deodorant. 
And here we are passing out iron in drinkable, potable water sold by Hill Country Fair. Okay. And let me get the readings for you. So in our calculations here, what we have for the Hill Country Fair water is two grains of hardness, 7.7 .7 pH. It dropped down again. Positive 50 for antioxidants. They actually say that positive 50 to negative 200 is considered antioxidant. So kudos for that. Um, 25 total dissolved solids. The hardness uh, from calcium-related minerals like limestone and such is 34.2. Subtract the total dissolved solids, and it comes to 9.2 other that we'd have to send off to a lab to determine what they are. But we know that one of them is iron from that orange color here. So, uh, would I recommend this water? No. It's got iron in it in excessive amounts. That's only a two ounce glass. That's horrid. I did not see any copper or lead, which would be green or white, but there is a ton of iron in that water. It needs to be run through an iron breaker to be safe. All right, hope this is helpful.